current events as highlighted via some recent editorial cartoons in the U.S. News and World Report website. And I, I always find them to be a, a nice snapshot of things that have happened over the past week or so. Um, so I like to highlight these different things. And, you know, they're funny, but they also carry a lot of information. So it's a nice little quick snapshot of of different past events over the past week that just really articulate certain Things, certain mindsets that I, I find very interesting and, and help me to stay as I think of myself as a watcher on the wall to pay attention to what's happening in the world and convey that to people that are or hopefully listening to this broadcast or maybe nobody is listening but anyway just want to get it across and people may find it interesting so I'd like to start um, so just a few images this week, like, oh, so that's from last week, so, yeah, so every week, basically, you have just a nice collection, and it doesn't take every single editorial cartoon from every single newspaper or online site um, all over the country or all over the world or anything. It's just, you know, it's a nice snapshot and see similar cartoonists listed, represented. So it's, you know, a nice little resource. So uh, this is Herschel Walker. If Ted Cruz can represent Texas from Cancun. I can represent Georgia from Texas. So I guess this is referring to is maybe Herschel Walker actually lives in, in Texas and not Georgia, even though he's running for, for the U.S. Senate um, in Georgia. So I don't know all the details of this, to be honest with you. So I'm going to skip to the next. So, OK, so we have uh, China paper protests and then Biden's response. So, you know, kind of blank <laughs> slate. Shocking. I got me. I need some glue. U.S. economy is supposed to be Biden. Not good. Uh, great train robbery, 24% raise bonuses. In fact, pay wasn't enough. Um, so I guess there's, you know, this is related to the the current rail strike situation or over the past week. As far as I know, it was resolved, but you know, it always seems to be kind of reoccurring at this point. So draining the swamp, spraying all over Uncle Sam, racism, all the stuff, but. I've decided to step down as the Speaker of the House and not seek re-election. This is Pelosi. Um, if all of you don't stop cheering, I'm going to change my mind. Well, definitely don't want that. Seems to be hot U.S. Speaker of the House for, I seem like, several decades. That's so long. But so Z pointing, so this is supposed to be like Tiananmen Square, the famous photo with the, the protesters standing in front of the, the uh, large gun on the tank very very famous photo so um of course you know now the whole um you know covid situation is being used as a weapon against the chinese people unfortunately all these different lockdowns and all this crazy authoritarianism being implemented as a result of these this um disease or flu whatever you want to call it so now he's gone too far. Political asset. Uh oh, now he's becoming a liability. He does seem like a liability, I have to say, but I don't know. The the GOP and the Democrats are all very compromised. Just like Trump is compromised, Biden is compromised, and I mean, they're all compromised to whatever extent. So thanks to climate change, all turkeys will not come pre roasted. Interesting. Never. Stop its spread. It's the biggest threat to U.S. They're concerned about the spread of freedom. No vaccination for freedom. So uh, this guy is really interesting. I like his cart cartoon style. Uh, Michael P. Ramirez. Ramirez tunes his website. So um, or Michael P. Ramirez dot com. Ramirez tunes his 
Twitter handle, but um, I I find uh, I I like his style and I, I kind of like his uh, overall sentiment and it's it's very pointed, very interesting perspective on politics and very straightforward as well. Kind of tells the truth in in um, in his own way and you know it's very compelling. I I don't know his religious background or anything, but you know, his feel kind of somewhat akin, maybe not completely to, to the perspective, but I like this guy's uh, artistic style as well as Summers. Oh, he's from the Tribune Content Agency. I'm not sure, but it's a phenomenon that, that happens every four years of soccer, the World Cup, the reference. But, um, Birds of a Feather, so Nine Nations Climate Change. So this is John Kerry. Not only did he survive, you owe him billions of dollars. Climate reparations. Turkey in the U.S. is, I guess, liable for that for some unknown reason. I want to know who's on Jeffrey Epstein's client list. And the Santa Claus is, like, dramatized there. Right, I've seen some some names uh, that have taken flight on the Lolita Express as private, private jet. You've got President Bill Clinton. You have um, Stephen Hawkins, Bill Gates. And all these famous people, it's tragic. You know? Tragic, you know, all these famous people I don't know what to do with themselves, all these billionaires, and you know, they just get involved with pedophilia. Might as well. You know, this is the season. The flu, COVID, the good stuff. So recent from the recent newsletters from cuttingedge.org with Pastor Dave Bay. I find uh, his work really quite incredible as far as articulating different events over the past past week or so in the different newsletters definitely provides an excellent snapshot so we can continue to be watchers on the wall uh, and so i've been looking at this these articles for quite some time probably at least 20 years at this point and the ministry has been around on the internet for, I believe, almost 25 years. So, very, very long time. So, actually, almost 30 years. So, it was quite a significant period of time to be active on the internet. Very, very, very powerful tool to reach a lot of people. So, evangelical leaders are fulfilling end times prophecy. They're speaking marvelous, even astonishing things against the I, I use the name Yahshua, the Hebrew name of the Messiah, Yahshua HaMashiach. Trinity College Dean defends graphic news sermon, news, sorry, graphic woke sermon claiming Jesus had trans body. Okay, so here we go. Another ridiculous thing. Um, and are prosperous as they speak these bonds. Therefore, the dean should just open the door a bit more for the anti-Messiah to arise. Amazing what things are being said at religious institutions about the Messiah. All of a sudden, he's uh, transsexual. Next, he's going to be transhuman. He's a robot. He's an alien. Bisexual or whatever. You know, these crazy, crazy... Things being said about the Messiah, the savior of the entire universe. Abomination, and it's just a sign of the times, sign of the end times, so it's rather unfortunate. President Biden abdicates his responsibility in preventing a nationwide rail strike, rail strike in early December. Time punts booming rail strike to Congress after failure to reach a deal. I think this was resolved, I mean, this is earlier in the week, the 9th, but... Anyway, it's that's a problem. Over 400 business groups plead with Congress to prevent rail strike. More than 400 business groups are calling on Congress to be prepared to prevent a freight rail strike that could start causing chaos in the economy as early as next week. It's definitely a serious problem. A few, few things other than a rail strike can inflict as much damage upon this economy as quickly as a rail strike. So there's all these different levers, all these different mechanisms, all these different things that can be done to cause serious chaos 
in the market and, and our economy or the global economy. So things like raising interest rates exponentially can cause serious damage. That's one major mechanism used by the different central banks to, in this case, currently to fight inflation, to crush demand, to to uh, inhibit the money supply globally. As it's happening in the United States, it's happening with other central banks and other countries all over the world. So a few things other than in this situation, a rail strike or any other labor strike, major labor union oriented strike was unbelievable repercussions. So a rare reality as early as December 9th, causing shortages, spiking prices, halting factory production. It could also disrupt commuter rail services for up to 7 million travelers a day and the transportation of 6,300 carloads of food and farm products a day, among other items. So it's a problem. But hopefully as I know, they, that was averted. But Biden White House is dismantling the dams on the Clackamas River to improve the salmon run. So I I feel like I'm a huge proponent of wildlife, but when it comes to causing serious repercussions to our economy and the lives of people that live within this economy, then that's that's a problem. I'm not a supporter of that. U.S. to remove dams on to protect endangered salmon. No one is talking about the 70,000 homes being serviced by the electricity generated. So another mechanism caused essentially chaos. You know, people's lives are on the line here. You know, obviously, everybody wants to see the the salmon survive and have no issues whatsoever but at the same time we're so our lives are so intertwined with these different mechanisms the the dams electricity electricity that's generated by these hydroelectric dams facilities we our lives are tied into these these things you can't just shut them down without causing massive damage massive chaos in people's lives so it's, it's horrible i mean if i've had uh, power out for an entire week one time i mean other places i'm sure i've had power down for several weeks you know with all the different natural disasters i mean it's, it's a problem especially in the winter and just problem overall i mean not having power is a serious issue not having natural gas heat is a serious issue i mean definitely major components to our everyday lives that are on the line and, and moving those things just to make sure the salmon can run along the river is uh, really quite quite the uh, quite the event. So animal rights extremists are a very creation of evolution. Okay. President Biden now sides with with the Palestinians against Israel again. Okay. So what we have here, after 73 years, Biden tells Palestinians to wait until conditions are right. right? So granting Palestine full state membership status at the UN. Of course, the Democrats have been a huge uh, backer of, of the Palestinians and their fight against the Israelis to, to you know, reinstitute their, their, their state. You know, which was basically eliminated with the founding of the nation of Israel in 1948. So, and, you know, unfortunately, people were displaced um, when that happened, but it was literally a fulfillment of ancient prophecy, the restoration of the, the ancient Hebrews to their land, okay, and the founding of the nation of Israel. So the idea of splitting up, dividing their land is is a problem biblically speaking so and it will not end well so you know there's a whole two-state solution again dividing the land so what judgment shall yahweh bring down upon israel because of this betrayal so uh, an ominous development has now occurred president biden has now placed america's supporter of the palestinians okay 
first there's this article coming prophecy to annihilation of the Palestinians. The present day Palestinians living in Israel are the descendants of the house of Esau. Why is that important? It is critically important because Yahweh breathed an end of the age prophecy against the house of Esau in Obadiah 15 to 18. One of the most startling prophecies in the Bible, and one currently working its way forward toward fulfillment. But on Mount Zion in Jerusalem, there shall be deliverance for those who escape, and it shall be holy, and the house of Jacob shall possess its possession. The house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, but the house of Esau shall be stubble. The house of Esau, the modern day. Palestinians. They shall kindle and burn them and consume them, and there shall be no survivor of the house of Esau, or Yahweh has spoken it. After describing the end of the age, slaughter against all nations of the earth, Isaiah 34, chapter 34, verse 1 through 4, Yahweh turns his attention to the people of Edom. Is my sword and equipped in heaven? Behold, it shall come down upon Edom, the descendants of Esau, the modern day Palestinians, upon the people whom I have doomed for judgment. Talking about the sacrifice and the great slaughter in the land of Edom. Okay. Yahweh has a day of vengeance, a year of recompense for the cause of Zion. These are harsh statements, and we make them with a heavy heart, for we wish the death of no one. But the end of the age is the time when Yahweh destroys entire nations and people. That's the reality. America and Israel were uniquely based in beginning by our faith in Almighty Yahweh. Biblical Foundation of American Freedom. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator, Yahweh, Father, certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness from the Declaration of Independence. Father Yahweh, the author of liberty. Exactly. We greatly prosper, prosper because of this faith, but now are throwing it overboard for false faith erupting from the pit of hell. Okay. We illustrate how dependent upon ignorance and stupidity freedom's enemies are. One has only to consider Alyssa Milano. Milano tweeted that she had protested against the inherent racism of Elon Musk by turning in her Tesla for a Volkswagen. Volkswagen was founded in 1937 by none other than the main Nazi hater, <clears throat> Adolf Hitler. So history's greatest bigot is his murders reached 20 million and war dead another 50 million. So there you go. So, so that's um, that's one of the articles from this week. So this next article. Let's see what else? What other articles? And there's a also a podcast for the CuttingEdge.org. You might want to check out. I've heard some different components. At some point, I'm going to start broadcasting those as well. Did Elon Musk buy Twitter because he could then have control over company, have control over company copies of tweets between Joe and Hunter Biden? I don't know. Tucker Carlson, everybody in power is panicked over this. Now, people think Elon Musk is restoring free speech on Twitter. Um, to some extent, I guess he is. So, uh, but I definitely think he's a pawn in the uh, hand of the elite, so to speak. This is big. Elon Musk promises release of free speech speech 
depression thoughts, okay? Perhaps this type of exposure is the reason leftists have been acting crazy ever since Musk announced his claims. Meanwhile, Musk, Musk claims to have solved this problem by directly negotiating with Apple CEO Tim Cook. Musk claims dispute with tech giant over Twitter's potential removal from App Store resolve. Okay. Elon Musk that announces that he has proof that Twitter acted to interfere in elections and can prove it. Twitter has interfered in elections. Interesting. Captains of the rest of the internet are reacting in horror over the realization that the repressive Democrat regime could actually curb his speech. This is messed up. Elon Musk responds to the White House and press media machine. Okay. And leftists have to be worried about the copies of tweets, copies of which Twitter has retained between Joe and Hunter, former Twitter safety chief Yoel Roth, now admits censoring Hunter Biden laptop story was a mistake. Interesting. California authorities are releasing thousands of pedophiles after serving less than a year. Wow, that's unbelievable. More than 7,000 pedophiles convicted of lewd or lascivious acts with the child under 14 years of age were released from California prisons the same year they were convicted. Wow, that's amazing. Definitely will not ever travel to California ever ever again. Wow, that's amazing. Definitely will not ever travel to California ever ever again. The crimes included child rape, continuous sexual abuse of a child, sodomy with a child under 16, and kidnapping a child under 14 with intent to commit lewd or lascivious acts. The outlet analyzed data on thousands of convicts, California's Megan's Law database and found that individuals convicted of sexually abusing children were serving only months in jail or prison. Unbelievable. Biblical maxim, when human authorities do not carry out Yahweh's punishment for a crime, Yahweh will exercise the judgment upon the entire nation. Here we go. Biblical America's economy is headed toward the largest job cuts we have seen in many decades. Biggest job cuts in decades coming? Question mark. And we definitely have already seen tens of thousands of people losing their jobs in Silicon Valley, Twitter, Facebook, other places as well. Dutch leftists are closing forcibly, if necessary, 3,000 farms. Unbelievable. Great reset in full force. Dutch government plans to shut down up to 3,000 farms to meet EU green goals. Great reset in full force. Unbelievable. No matter what the world is in face, is facing, facing severe shortages of all kinds of food, prophecy must be fulfilled. And I looked and behold, a pale horse and his name that sat on him was death and hell followed with him. Power was just given unto them over the fourth part of the year. Could kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with peace of the earth. So Revelation 6, chapter 6, verse 8. 